Hi, uh, I'm going to take a break from my normal uh, movie videos today because I had to get this idea out because um, my wife and I were watching Stranger Things season two for the second time. And I had a few uh, qualms with season two the first time I watched it. I've only watched it the once before, like I said, and we binged the whole thing in one day. One of the problems I had was that they kept all of the characters apart for so long. Uh, in fact, uh, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the season, don't watch the rest of it. It's going to be full of them. Uh, she doesn't come back, uh, Eleven doesn't come back to the group, and everybody's not really together, all of them, until the end of episode um, eight. And that's really, really, really late in a series that only has nine episodes. So, uh, one of the things that everybody universally seems to hate in Stranger Things season two is episode seven. Now this really confused me um, when I first watched uh, Stranger Things 2 because I loved that episode. Um, partially because Eleven is not in season, or is not in episode six at all. And I thought that was really strange. Um, and then episode seven, she has her whole, she has the entire episode to herself, basically. It's just Eleven's story, where she goes. Um, she's basically at her mother's house, and I guess her aunt's house and finding out what mentally what happened to her mother, and then she leaves there, uh, or, or rather she breaks this psychic connection she has with her mom, and then it, it goes from that to the pumpkin patch where, um, or rather where um, Hopper is being kidnapped by these vines. Um, and it then it goes into that entire plot line for the next episode with Hawkins Lab and uh, it, uh, the demi-dogs and all that entire storyline is the next episode and it ends with the demogorgon or the demi-dog coming out of the hole like like coming out and you just you want to know what happens next immediately well then they go to episode seven and you do this whole 11 story and i think part of the reason people hate episode seven so much this really confused me because i really thought that was one of the stronger episodes however i think it's the placement and i think that one little change would make season two so much infinitely better. And here's my idea. You play episode six, you leave Eleven at her mom's house, you cut to, uh, you cut to them rescuing Hopper, the whole thing with the lab, then you skip episode seven entirely, just keep that plot line going. You've, so you have the second half of the hospital, or the, the lab. You have all of that. You have the, the uh, interrogation of Will and everything. And so now it's been two complete episodes that you have not seen Eleven at all. The last time you saw her was at her mom's house. And you're like, right, about, right around this time, you must be thinking like, what the hell has happened to Eleven? It's been two whole episodes out of nine. And then she comes through the door at the end of our new episode seven, right? Because we've taken eight and now it's in place of eight. Now it's seven. And she walks through the door and she looks totally different, right? And you're like, what the hell happened to her? Where'd she come from? Plus total surprise, because we haven't been thinking about her until uh, since like the last half of episode five. And she comes in and saves them. You're like, what the heck? Plus it doesn't break, it doesn't break the momentum because that whole story is taken to resolution, right? And it leaves you with a question that you want answered. So you want episode seven at that point, if you haven't seen it, you want, you're like, what happened? Where did she go? Why does she look like this? Episode seven answers all those questions that you now have. And episode seven ends in such a perfect way to set up the final episode of the whole season. Cause she's like, she's on the bus and the, and the old lady says, hey, where are you going? And she's like, I'm going to my friends. I'm going to help my friends. And you're like, okay, like I've got all the pieces now and you're gonna come back for this awesome episode nine and it's gonna end the season that way. Like that would solve so many problems. Plus it gets everybody back together one episode sooner. Um, it doesn't break the momentum, like I said. Just, just that reveal though of Eleven coming through that door after she's been gone for two entire episodes would be so cool and so much less expected and with a completely different look than the last time you saw her. You want all that explained. So to go back and just swap those two episodes, just swap seven and eight, 
I think I think uh, season two, and I, I just watched them pretty much back to back, and it really doesn't cause any continuity problems whatsoever to do that. So um, anyway, I uh, just wanted to share my thoughts on that, and uh, if you have uh, any comments or ideas of your own, uh, leave them down in the comment section. Thanks.